What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel again. I am Kyle with Limitless Power Sports Service Repair. What you see here, a lot of people have asked about these, um, is a 2018 Odes 1000 uh, X2 Long Travel LT. Uh, believe it or not, uh, I think I sold this to the customer um, quite a few years ago at a small place I worked at for a short amount of time that they had these machines. Uh, so I used to be a, a service warranty center for them um, back in 2018 and 19 uh, in 20, yeah, 2020. Uh, yeah, 2018, 19. Yeah, because 2020 they closed down. So 2018, 19, I had worked on these, the Massimos, the Coleman's, all that stuff. So like I said, this is a 2018 Odes uh, Dominator X2 1000 LT, uh, or however you want to pronounce it, 1000 X2 LT, X2 LT, whatever it may be. Uh, so basically what's going on with this one, guys, is my customer, uh, this is the second one, I think he had a four-door traded in for this one. Uh, his great nephew or something like that was out driving it, rode it completely out of gas, um, put gas in it, fired back up, drove it back to the shop. Uh, his wife has never really drove it, so they ended up uh, jumping in it, fired it up, took it for a drive, and it died probably 200 yards away and hasn't started since. Could be a fuel pump problem. Um, it could be a spark problem. There could be a lot of issues on this thing. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to run through a lot of the common issues that run across these machines. Questions that people ask about on the Odes Owners group on Facebook. There's quite a few different ones of those. There's some good resources on there, guys. Uh, Scott, is it Swords uh, from Scooter? I think it's Scooters uh, Parts. Um, I think he's up in uh, Joplin, Missouri. Um, motorcycle Doctor, uh, they're in Camdenton, Missouri. I'm in Ozark, Missouri. And then Terry, can't remember Terry's last name, North Northwest Suspension. Uh, really great, helpful people. Scott sells parts, Motorcycle Doctor sells parts, answer questions. Uh, Scott will answer questions on Facebook. Terry does too. Um, he also, Terry also does suspension work, of course, and he also sells clutch kits for these things, depending on what you guys want out of your machine uh, by changing the weights and the and the weights, the springs, and the clutches, and stuff like that, and also recommends a better belt for these. Uh, so guys, we're gonna go ahead and jump into this, uh, and I'll show you a few of the uh, Diag things I have to Diag these machines. There is some other stuff you can download online. And like I said, check out, look on Facebook if you got questions for our O Donor Group uh, or not. Um, they'll answer a lot of your questions. And also guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, man, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, hit that like button, turn on that post notifications. Uh, subscribing for me is absolutely free. It doesn't cost you anything at all. Uh, try to help me keep posting some content. We're at 780 subscribers now, and I've been doing this a little over a year. I haven't been very religious on posts and stuff. Been traveling a lot with the race team and uh, doing some other work. So hopefully we get to posting more, but let's go ahead and jump into this thing and run over a few of the is common issues that you find on these machines. All right. so. Hopefully you guys got a halfway decent view here um, from the front. It doesn't look the greatest. But anyways, pull the seat out. I slide them forwards. Pull the handle on the bottom. Oh, both handles. <laughs> there we go. There's two handles on the bottom. Pull that out. I pull the seat forward. There's two connectors back here in the back. I just unpl unplug both of those for the heated seats. <laughs> and we'll just set this off to the side here. Actually, I'm just going to set it right in the back. That way, it don't take up much of floor space. Come around to the other one. Let's point us down here a little bit, see if we can see that. Open this door. Both handles, two fingers. Pull that up. We'll come forward. Like I said before, we'll unhook both of the heated seat connectors. Throw the seat in the back. And then next we'll have to come through and I believe it's a 14 and a 16, take the seat belts out, a 17 millimeter. Sometimes you don't need it, but 17 millimeter, hold that nut, we'll spin this off. And then, we'll, then we have a couple screws back here, one back here, one back on the other side. Take all these push pins out. This whole center console will lift out. So uh, you guys are viewing this from the passenger side hanging out. So I'm going to try to get you the best view I can of what's going on. So I'll grab my tools. We'll get to that. All right. So I'm going to start over here on this side. I'm going to take this screw out. I don't know if you guys can see me or not. See my hands. So I'm going to take the screws out in the back. I'm going to toss them up here in the cup holder. And then I'm going to grab my 
There's one gun to grab my impact. And I believe it's a 14 and a 16. If I can figure out what I did with my 16, there it is right in front of me. 14 millimeter, 16 millimeter. Take the seat belts out real quick. And we're also gonna check fuel pressure on this thing. There's one here. Don't drop it through. Hold that, spin this guy all the way off. You'll know if you go down too far, what'll happen is that this guy here will get too deep up here and you won't be able to push the button in. You wanna be able to push the button all the way in, which, which in that terms will, I'll walk around and show you. It's hard to see from this side. But like I was saying, with the control here, you wanna be able to, uh, when that button, when you screw that back down, you wanna be able to push that button fully in because what it does, it depresses this, which takes it off the shift detent inside and lets you shift back and forth. Remember, have that pulled all the way up. So the next thing we're gonna do, take this seatbelt off, that screw out, and then we're gonna go ahead and start popping out all these little guys here. Like I, like I said, I'm hopefully getting you guys a, a decent view. I know it's kind of hard to see. I don't have a lot of light inside this thing. I can get my, there we go, throw it in the cup holder. Fourteen and a sixteen. Toss him in the floor. I did grab a fifteen just in case. Like I said, these here, these here are a lifesaver. So I love these things. It makes the job on these so much easier. And they don't tear everything up. Like you see a lot of these fir tree pliers that tear a lot of stuff up. These, these don't do that. Boy, it's a humid day. My shop floor is slick and covered in water from being so humid and concrete being so cold. And you can find these exact type of push pens on Amazon. You can get like a hundred of them for like absolutely nothing. So if you guys are gonna buy them from a dealer, you're crazy, just go. Cause they're like a dollar something a piece from the dealer that I can recall. And they're, you can get hundreds of them for pretty much absolutely nothing. All right, so e-brakes all the way up. I believe this thing should be loose. We'll just lift that right up and out and set it in the back on top of the, on top of the, uh, Seats upside down. Oh yeah, let me show you this, guys. I, I did this, wow, I did this a long time ago. Um, these things had a heat problem uh, in that center console getting hot. So I bought some acoustic barrier uh, sound deadening heat mat and just put it all over the inside of this thing. Um, this thing has not probably been off since it was bought because when we got them, I installed all this stuff. So you can see what we did there to kind of help with that heat. All right, guys, I hope you can hear me. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and shut the light off and check spark on this. If I can get up here and get the switch. All right, key on. Spark plug tester. I already see a Tor spark plug wire. Check spark real quick. See, we got spark and you can see the spark over there too. So we have spark, so that's good. Let's turn this light back on. So we know we have that. There we go. So we'll unhook this one. We'll check the rear cylinder, make sure we have spark back there. That doesn't mean these spark plugs aren't fouled out either. So let's see if I can't, here we go. Stick that in there. 
we'll pull the spark plugs out and check these. This is, uh, like I said, it's a 2017, I think. Uh, and spark plugs haven't been changed, valves clearances haven't been checked. For some reason, I can't get this thing to. There we go, line up on there. All right, I'm gonna shut the light off again so you guys can see better what's going on. Here we go. You can see we have spark on the rear cylinder also. So let's check fuel. If I can get this off of here again. Like I said, I'm not sure if these spark plugs are fouled out or not, but we'll check that shortly. So there we go. We're gonna grab an eight. We're gonna come up here to the front injector, unbolt the six mil by one old bolt, and I'm gonna unhook this from the spark plug cap, and we're gonna go ahead and turn our injector kind of towards the camera. All right, we're gonna crank it over. You can see we're getting fuel out of the front injector. It's not a whole bunch, but it should be enough to fire this thing off. Go ahead and put a little slabba back on the O-ring. Should take a little bit of grease on that O-ring. That way it punches down in there easier. We'll go ahead and bolt that back down. The rear injector is a little more, a little tougher to get to in this 1000 compared to the 800. Make sure that's good. The rear injector, you can get to it. It's over here. I'm not really going to be too worried about it. It should still fire off in a one cylinder. So we know we got fuel. Well, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get that rear one out. That way we can say. That way we can say we checked spark on both cylinders and we checked fuel on both cylinders. So nobody gives me a hard time that I didn't check fuel on the rear cylinder, blah, blah, blah. Cause you never know, I mean, I've had injectors go out on these guys before. Mud dauber's nest just fell. All right, turn my light on so I can see what I'm doing. Pull that injector out. Rear injector, here we go. You can see we got fuel to that one also, pretty good. Put him back in there, positive snap, push down on the O-ring, get this bolt started. Go ahead and secure that. So we have fuel, we have spark on both cylinders. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the spark plugs out. Take a look at those real quick. Front one here is always a little more of a pain in the butt than the uh, rear one. So I'll get a, I got a long wobbly extension if I don't lose my spark plug socket. And I go underneath the shift cable. Makes life a lot easier. Uh, you can get a set of cheap wobbly extensions at Harbor Freight if you want. I have some snap-on ones. I have a variation of them. This makes getting it in and out a little bit easier. Spark plugs are nice and wet. Let's just check fire down at the plug then. Just to make sure this thing's actually firing off. Where did that go? That's the rear. Nope. That's the rear. This is the front. All right. So we're going to go ahead and Shut the light off again. Check spark at the spark plug itself. If I can get it to set up here somewhere, you guys might be able to see it without shocking the bejesus out of me. All right, shut the light off up here. Headlamp, check again. I have no spark at the spark plug, it looks like. We had it to the spark plug. Let's try again, I'm gonna try again over here.
try again. No spark at the spark plug. Let's take the rear spark plug out, check it. Hopefully you guys still hear me because that rain is kicking right now. I think I usually use like a one inch extension on that. So let's pull this out. We'll ground it and see if we get spark on the rear spark plug. I ever get this thing out there we go the rear spark plug is really 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 dark really really wet so we know we know that's getting fuel let's make sure we don't blow ourselves up here by shooting fuel out everywhere so i'm gonna go ahead and unplug the injectors real quick there we go there turn the light back off let's see if we can get spark on this rear spark plug i know we have that there but so the rear spark plug is firing but i have nothing coming to the front spark plug let's try let's swap up spark plugs here let's see what we get put that one on the rear we'll put this one on the front try again so what I can tell right now, that front cylinder spark plug is fouled out. It's not shooting any sparks at all. I put this one on the front, now we have spark. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a new spark plug and we'll throw that in and see if we get this thing to fire back off. All right guys, so I got the spark plug wire ordered up, new spark plugs ordered up also. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead right now, and we're just gonna go ahead and change the oil. I'm gonna make this one full video on everything that I do to this deal. Um, down here on the right hand side remember you got to take out that center cowling but on the right hand side front passenger side you got this little guy right here it's got three eight mil head bolts it's a bolt size is one one by uh i'm sorry six by one oh uh you'll pull that out that's where your oil filter is definitely put a rag down here to catch all the oil it will leak out and you're going to use a little sealant around that even though it has an o-ring you need to use a little sealant because these things will weep out of there and then we'll go ahead right directly underneath that in the skid plate down here. We'll just take it down here real quick. <clears throat> and right here, if I can get a good angle here, 17 millimeter bolt, go ahead and drain that out into your oil pan. And then we'll fill it over here and we will fill it with uh, 2.3 quarts of your, your brand, whatever brand you like. I like uh motul uh mobile one ams oil royal purple is what they ran here from factory i'm not a huge fan of royal purple but i'm going to end up putting royal purple back in here because i'm sure you guys haven't seen one of these in a while this actually came as a kit from odes to the owner uh, and it actually has the oil in here along with all his information from where he had bought it from so he wants to run the Royal Purple, so we're gonna run the Royal Purple. When's the last time you saw one of those? So I'm gonna go ahead and just change that oil off the of film. No point in watching me change the oil. Uh, you guys saw where you're supposed to change the filter and drain it from and what to fill it with. All right guys, so we got our spark plugs in today for this ODES. You can see uh, CPR88-9, part number be 2306. Now remember, they do not come with a resistor cap on those for the style of spark plug wire they have. You have to take it off your old spark plug and put it on your new one. Don't forget to do that, otherwise you're gonna cause yourself some problems having intermittent spark. Also, you could see kind of how fouled out this plug was here. Uh, number two cylinder wasn't so bad, but number one was really fouled out and the spark plug wire had a rip in it. So we got the new plug in, uh, I got them in already. I've been a little under the weather, not feeling the greatest. 
today, but I got these parts in, so I did throw the new spark plug wire on the number two cylinder. Got the old one on the number one, new spark plugs front and back. Uh, let's find out if this thing's gonna fire off here real quick. I wanted to make sure I got you guys on camera for the first fire up. Well, hopefully fire up, I should say, because remember it wouldn't start. It had no spark on the front uh, cylinder, but if we switched uh, spark plugs, it did. So let's see if this thing fires up here. If I can hit the button, I'm gonna go to my gauges just because I like to be able to see everything. All right, so here we go. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's got a little rough idle. Sounds a little rough. It could just be the stuff in the back though, rattling around. Uh, so we had we adjusted the valves on this thing, remember? And we put new spark plugs in it, new spark plug wire. And there we go, fired right off. So that's all his issue was on that. Um, we did check the air cleaner and the throttle body. All that was really clean, no issues there. So we know the map sensor's nice and clean. We know the idle speed controller or idle air control. It's good and clean and it's operating. We did check for uh, codes. We had no codes. So now I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna throw this thing back together, uh, even though I'm in my good clothes, not my work clothes. I'm gonna throw it back together, uh, let it warm up, take it for a ride and see what's going on. I did go through the brakes already and took all those apart, re kind of surfaced the glaze off of those with a little, uh, with a little air uh, die grinder real quick, just a little sandy pad to see if we get rid of that squeak. And uh, we're gonna check it out, see what's going on here. And uh, hopefully uh, everything's good to go and I can let my customer know what's going on. I'll let you guys know here shortly. All right, guys, we just got back for a ride on this uh, 2018 Odes uh, X2 1000LT or long travel. Uh, seems to be the only issue we had with it was that uh, spark plug in the front was fouled out. Of course, the one in the rear was getting kind of bad too. Um, and also the spark plug wire looked like it either got tore or a mouse got on there and took a nice chunk out of that. Uh, this does stay out in the country, so it's a good possibility because it sets a lot. Uh, so we went out and drove it. Uh, no issues with it at all. Ran perfectly fine. Didn't grind the gears going in and out. Uh, felt like the belt deflection and everything was working right. Clutches felt really good and smooth. No issues there. Uh, again, we found the valves to be on this thing crazy, crazy tight, which is kind of a, a staple for these Odes. Even when they come brand new, the valves are super tight on these for some reason. I found them with zero clearance, brand new off the truck. Uh, the first service on a 1000 is actually five hours. Uh, so this thing has got 50 hours on it, and I don't believe it's ever been serviced. So we adjusted those valves. Uh, thing fired right up really easy. Not sure if he had any issues with firing it up in the past since it, it stopped running. Uh, I believe I left you guys the valve clearances. I told you the valve clearances in this video. And I do believe that the 800 valve clearance are the same as the 1000. Uh, again, double check in your service manual or your owner's manual for that. Uh, you can find some information for these online. Uh, look in that Odes owner group on Facebook. There's a couple different ones there. Really helpful guys on that also. Uh, and I also went over a few things that are common issues on all the Odes. Uh, doesn't matter if it's uh, 2013, 14, 15 on up to almost present day. They fixed a couple smaller issues. Um, but again, uh, you guys got any questions about this at all? Uh, you know, be sure to leave a comment down below. Uh, find me on Facebook at Limitless Power Sports Service and Repair, or you can even find me, uh, uh, shoot me an email uh, at limitlesspowersports78 gmail.com. I'll be happy to answer any questions you guys have. Just give me a little time to uh, get back to you. Uh, sometimes it doesn't, their comments doesn't show up right away. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Uh, and I try to get back to everybody that leaves a comment or a question on there. Uh, again, guys, I, I thank you for the continued support. And if you guys haven't hit that like and subscribe button and turn on post notifications, guys, I'd really appreciate that. Cause it's, I think it's like 95 or 96.5% of people that watch my content are not subscribed to my channel. And man, it doesn't cost you a dime to subscribe, man. It really helps us content creators out uh you know we spend a lot of time doing this ourselves trying to make it uh legible for you guys and you know enjoy the videos and stuff like that again guys thank you for the continued support and uh, i'll catch you on the next upload